Imagine a place where time seems to stand still and light itself bends to the will of gravity. Imagine a realm where stars orbit at mind-boggling speeds and the laws of physics are pushed to their limits. This is the reality at the center of our galaxy. The Milky Way center that we call home is about 27,000 light years away from us. Quite a staggering distance, isn't it? This is a journey that light, the fastest thing known to mankind, would take 27,000 years to complete. Just imagine that. The heart of our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A asterisk. A black hole so gigantic that it's about 4 million times the mass of our sun. That's right, 4 million suns. And that's just the black hole. The entire Milky Way spans a whopping 100,000 light years in diameter. Now, if you're wondering what a light year is, it's the distance light travels in one year. And light, as you might know, is incredibly fast. It sprints at a speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second. Yes, you heard it right. Miles per second, not per hour. In one year, light can travel about 6 trillion miles. So when we say that the center of our galaxy is 27,000 light years away, we're talking about a distance of approximately 162 trillion miles. That's a one with 12 zeros. Quite a marathon for light, isn't it? While these numbers might seem astronomical, they are just the tip of the interstellar iceberg. Our Milky Way is but one of an estimated two trillion galaxies that make up the universe. Each of these galaxies, like ours, has its own center, its own heart beating with stars, dust, gas, and often a supermassive black hole. That's quite a distance, isn't it? But how does it compare to other galaxies? When we look at our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, its center is approximately 2.537 million light years away from us. Now let's put that into perspective. The center of our very own Milky Way galaxy is a mere 27,000 light years away. That's a staggering difference, isn't it? The vastness of these distances is so immense it's challenging to grasp. So let's try to picture it. Imagine if each light year was a mile. The distance to the center of our galaxy would be a road trip across the United States, coast to coast, about nine times over. But the journey to Andromeda's center, it would be equivalent to about 100 trips to the moon and back. These astronomical distances are not just numbers plucked from thin air. Scientists measure them using a variety of methods. One of the most common ways is through parallax. This involves observing a star from two different points in Earth's orbit around the sun. By calculating the angle of the star's apparent shift, we can determine its distance from us. Another method is redshift. As galaxies move away from us, the light they emit appears more red due to the Doppler effect. This redshift can be measured, and the greater the redshift, the further away the galaxy is. Now you might be wondering why Andromeda, our neighboring galaxy, is so much farther away from us than our galaxy's center. Well, that's because we're part of the Milky Way. We reside within its spiral arms, whereas Andromeda is an entirely separate galaxy far beyond our own. So, when we compare the distances from Earth to the centers of the Milky Way and Andromeda, we find a significant difference. We're talking millions of light years versus thousands. That's a whopping difference, isn't it? But distances aren't the only thing that differs. While our Milky Way's center houses Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole, other galaxies have their own unique centers too. Now, what exactly is a supermassive black hole, you ask? Well, it's a black hole of gargantuan proportions, millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun. It's a region in space where gravity is so strong, nothing, not even light, can escape from it. The concept of black holes is deeply rooted in Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. According to this theory, mass warps the fabric of space and time around it. When such warping is extreme, a black hole is formed. The boundary of this region from which nothing can escape is known as the event horizon. Within it, all paths lead to the singularity, a point of infinite density. Now let's take a look at our local supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A asterisk. It's an absolute behemoth, four million times the mass of our sun. But it's somewhat of a lightweight when compared to other supermassive black holes. For instance, in the heart of the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, there's a black hole that's over 100 million times the mass of our sun. But the real heavyweight champion here is the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy. It's a cosmic titan boasting a mass of six and a half billion suns. This 
astronomical giant was the star of the first ever image of a black hole captured by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019. Each of these supermassive black holes affects their respective galaxies in different ways. They drive the evolution of galaxies, influence star formation, and even shape the distribution of dark matter. These cosmic monsters are not just fascinating, they're fundamental to our understanding of the universe. It seems the universe is full of these cosmic monsters, each unique in their own way. Own. The Milky Way is no small feat, with an estimated diameter of 100,000 light years and a mass of about 1.5 trillion solar masses. Imagine, if you will, a celestial city teeming with around 200 billion stars, dust and gas clouds and countless planets all swirling together in a vast spiralling dance. That's our home, the Milky Way galaxy. It's a staggering size, isn't it? Yet in the grand cosmic scheme, it's just an average-sized galaxy. Now let's embark on a journey beyond our galactic borders. Prepare to have your minds blown as we compare our Milky Way with some of the universe's other galaxies. Take Andromeda, for instance, our closest spiral galaxy neighbor. It's a whopping 2.5 million light years away and is about 1.5 times larger than our Milky Way. Its mass, too, is a staggering 1 trillion solar masses, a celestial heavyweight indeed, but the true behemoths of the universe are the elliptical galaxies. These galaxies are monstrous, often reaching diameters of over 2 million light years and containing up to 10 trillion stars. The most massive galaxy discovered so far, IC 1101, has a diameter of about 6 million light years and a mass of around 100 trillion solar masses. That's nearly 70 times the mass of our Milky Way. So how do astronomers estimate these mind-boggling values? They employ a variety of methods and instruments from telescopes that observe different wavelengths of light to mathematical models of galaxy evolution. They study the motion of stars within galaxies, the distribution of galactic clusters, and even the gravitational effects galaxies have on their surroundings. It's a complex process, but the results give us a fascinating glimpse into the vastness of our universe. Despite our Milky Way's impressive size and mass, other galaxies can make it look like a cosmic lightweight. So, the next time you find yourself gazing up at the night sky, remember, we're just a small part of an incredibly vast and awe-inspiring cosmic dance. So how does our Milky Way's center compare to other galaxies? Let's recap what we've explored. The distance from Earth to the center of our galaxy is approximately 26,000 light years. Nestled at the heart of our galaxy is a supermassive black hole named Sagittarius A asterisk, which is over 4 million times the mass of our Sun. When it comes to size, the Milky Way's diameter stretches about 100,000 light years across, making it a mid sized spiral galaxy. As for its mass, our galaxy weighs in at around 1 to 2 trillion solar masses. In comparison, other galaxies can greatly vary in their distance from Earth, the type of black hole at their center, their size and mass. From dwarf galaxies to elliptical behemoths, the universe is a diverse cosmic playground. While our Milky Way is unique in its own ways, the universe is teeming with galaxies that are just as fascinating, each with their own unique centers.